Now, scientists have told the BBC that a giant iceberg is ready to break off from the most northern ice shelf in Antarctica. Let's take a look at some images. This iceberg is expected to be about a quarter of the size of Wales. The multicoloured line there shows how the crack has lengthened in recent years. And then uh, this image, which is captured by scientists on NASA's IceBridge mission, shows the crack from above. So when the iceberg does eventually break off, it's likely to be one of the 10 largest ever recorded. Researchers say this is a geographical and not a climate event. Let's find out more about all of this. Dr. Mark Brandon has joined me. He's a reader in polar oceanography at the Open University. Good to have you with us. You. Uh, I mean, just the, the statistics, the scale of this is so staggering to, uh, to a non-scientist like myself. Perhaps you can explain why this is so striking and, and, and what is happening. So what we're seeing is the natural processes that go on in an ice sheet. Snow falls on land, it gets compressed into layers of ice, the ice form glaciers, glaciers for, uh, flow towards the coast of Antarctica. In certain special places, they float, the tongue of the glacier floats and it forms this thing called an ice shelf. And the ice is pretty thick, maybe 350 metres thick, and it can extend, in the case of this particular ice shelf, Larsen Sea, a couple of hundred kilometres from the coast. Now, icebergs are always fractioning off from the edge of these ice shelves. But what's special about this one is just the phenomenal size, but it's a natural part of the flow of the glacier. As, as this iceberg calves off and drifts away, the ice shelf will advance forward over time and more snow falling on the continent will build the ice shelf up again. And, and so do we learn anything from this process, the fact that it is so particularly large, or, or is it just part of, part of life's natural pattern, if you like? So this project was set up by Swansea University. It's called the Midas Project, and uh, they've been following this crack as it's been developing. Now, the purpose of the project is to find out the fate of this ice shelf. Now, there are two ice shelves just to the north of it, which uh, you said this is the most northerly. It's the most northerly one that's left. The two that were slightly further north have already gone. And the last one of those, Larson B, went in 2002, and it went very, very quickly. Now, Swansea University... And when we say gone, we just mean oh, yeah. fall, fall to the... Fractured. Fall to the fracture uh, fractured, and, and the ice has dispersed. dissipated out into right. the ocean and gone away and melted. Now, once you take away the ice from the, uh, from the ice shelf, the glaciers that fed the ice shelf, we've shown, will speed up. And as they speed up, more ice is leaving Antarctica and going into the ocean. So although this is a geographical event and not climate-related, what may follow is probably likely going to be driven by the climate. So this project was set up to study what might happen with this ice shelf. We've got these ideas about how it works. As this ice shelf goes, this, the Larsen C is going to be the smallest that we've seen it in the record that we have. Right. But our satellite records only go back about 50, 60 years, our imagery, so it's still relatively recent. Mm. But the computer simulations from Swansea predict that the ice shelf may become unstable and it may break in the same way as the previous ones. So this particular ice, iceberg, phenomenally huge, not a climate event. What follows next is going to be worth watching, which is what the project's about. Very, very interesting. And sorry, just so just the, the time scale of that project then. That, I mean, can it go on ad infinitum, keep watching? I mean... Uh, well, I think as things are happening, they're certainly picked the right time to be working on it. Yes. And they've been yes. following this crack developing. And now this, I mean, it's 100 kilometres long, this piece of ice, 350 metres thick. If you do all the sums, it works out about a thousand billion tons of fresh water. And it's hinged wow. at the moment on just 20 kilometres of ice that, are, that are holding it. Once that fractures, this huge thing's going to drift away. And the first thing it would do is very slowly it will turn to the north and it will start drifting. And then it will probably bump into an island and stick there for a couple of years where it gets gradually melted down and broken up. But a hundred kilometre iceberg, this thing is so big that it's going to have its own climate when it drifts north of the sea ice. It will cool the air, it will change the wind circulations. So a wonderful thing to see. That um, is fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Thank you so much, Dr Mark Brandon. Thanks for coming in from the Open University. Good to talk to you. Thank you very much.